In this video, we're going to work out an individual integral. Um, it's going to be a straightforward u substitution integral, trig integral, typically found in a Calc 1 class. So we've got the integral of cosine x over square root 1 plus sine x. All right, key here is to um, think ahead, but also just kind of always look at that denominator and see if you can find an inside part. 1 plus sine x is definitely inside part. If I take the derivative of that sine, I'm going to have cosine, and then those cosines are going to cross out. So if you can think ahead a little bit and see that, then that's really good, and it's going to help you pick that u. All right, so we're going to let our u be everything under the, the radical, so 1 plus sine x. I'll take the derivative of both sides. du is equal to the one's going to go away. Derivative of sine is going to be cosine x and then dx. We're going to go ahead and solve all the way down for that dx. So we'll have a du over cosine x. All right, after we get to that point, then we're going to come back up to our original integral and start doing some substitutions. So we'll have the integral. Our cosine x will stay in the top. I'm going to replace what's underneath that radical with a u. So I'll have a square root of a u. We'll replace dx with what it equals, which is du over that cosine x. All right, now at that point, those cosine x's are going to cross out really nice. So then we'll have the integral of a one over. Now let's go ahead in this same step, taking that radical u and turning it into exponential form. So a u to the one half and then du. We have an integral now all in terms of u. So I can start to go through my process to integrate. I want to take this u to the one half, move it to the top and make it negative using my laws of exponents. So I'll have the integral of a u to the negative one half du. Finally, ready to integrate. I'm going to integrate by adding one to that exponent, which will make it a u to the one half. And then in front, we'll have that two or two over one, however you would like to write that, plus c. All right, last step, we're going to replace u. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this back into a radical, all right, and then clean that up so we just have a 2. So we'll have a 2 square root of, replacing u, 1 plus sine x, and then plus c. So definitely a straightforward u substitution um, and that involves some trig and would typically be found in your Calc 1 classes. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.